द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन टू मार्क्स क्वेश्चन एक्सपेक्टेड कंपलसरी क्वेश्चन एक्सपेक्टेड फ्रॉम दिस पॉलीमर टॉपिक इज वॉट इज जिग्लर नट्टा कैटलिस्ट जिग्लर नट्टा कैटलिस्ट so once again in the preparation of high density polyethylene when ethene molecules are dissolved in alkylating solvents or non polar solvents followed by at high temperature when these ethene molecules in the presence of triethyl aluminum and titanium tetrachloride as catalyst the polymerization takes place between ethene molecules and finally results high density polyethenes as our products here the most important expected one is jigler nutta catalyst the mixture of triethyl aluminum and titanium tetrachloride is called as jigler nutta catalyst it is used in polymerization addition polymerization to produce high density polyethenes from ethenes next one the high density polyethenes produced from this method are high density polyethenes are arranged in linear chain they are linear chain and very closely arranged to each other closely the linear chains present in high density polymers closely arranged each other so hence due to close arrangement of two linear chains present in high density polymers they seems to be rigid tough and they are inert in nature the produced high density polymers are rigid tough and inert here due to toughness of high density polymers they are used to prepare buckets dust bins etc so due to uh, toughness rigid character toughness of high density polymers they are used to prepare uh, they are used in the preparation of buckets uh, dust bins etc so this is polythin two types of polythins as we mentioned here low density polymers and high density polymers so these low density and high high density polymers are produced from ethene in its addition polymerization or chain growth polymerization so in entire topic the most importance goes to this jigler nutta catalyst for two marks what is jigler nutta catalyst the mixture of triethyl aluminum and titanium tetrachloride which is used as in the preparation of high density poly polythene from ethene is called as jigler nutta catalyst and let us learn one more example for polymers that are produced from addition polymerization or chain growth polymerization of monomers the second example i would like to consider here poly tetrafluoro ethene what is the next example under addition polymerization poly tetrafluoro ethene here we can consider it as cho2 or what is ethene here ch2 double bond ch2 in ch2 i would like to substitute hydrogens with fluorine cf2 double bond cf2 the means in between two carbons double bond present and each carbon with two fluorine groups when n number of tetrafluoroethene molecules reacts with each other in the presence of peroxide peroxides as peroxides as motivators are catalyst here when this reaction takes place free radical addition expected between one tetrafluoroethene with another tetrafluoroethene and produces a long poly chain like this we can consider it as n a long polymer resulting from free radical addition of 
टेट्राफ्लोरोन मॉलिक्यूल्स वेन एन नंबर ऑफ टेट्राफ्लोरोन मॉलिक्यूल्स आर मोर अमाउंट ऑफ टेट्राफ्लोरो मॉलिक्यूल्स अंडर गोस रियाक्शन फ्री रेडिकल एडिशन रियाक्शन एंड फाइनली प्रोड्यूस टेट्रा पॉली टेट्राफ्लोरोन एक्चुअली द पॉली टेट्राफ्लोरोन इज आलो कॉल्ड एस टेफ्ला द रिजल्टिंग टेफ्ला पॉली टेट्राफ्लोरोन आर टेफ्ला the resulting teflon will have resistance towards corrosive agents corrosive agents that means there is no corrosion expected on teflon